Guys! It is... The day after yesterday. Uh, June 5th. And this is Tipper Tap. In the morning. And yeah, this is probably the earliest. I think this is the earliest I've ever streamed. Um, interestingly enough, I feel like... If I hadn't had it in my head that this is something I was going to do today, I probably would have slept past this... I probably would have slept up to this start time. I'm very lazy on Sunday mornings when it comes to, like, actually waking up. So this serves two purposes. Because <laughs> it not just, um, it's not just a, another stream that might be more convenient for some of you, especially those in Europe, to participate in. But it can also, you know, maybe make my Sundays a little more productive. <laughs> um... But yeah, so this is a different time slot than usual. That's like the big thing. Uh, the other big thing is that it's two streaming days in a row. That's not usually something I do, coming from like the night and then the morning. I would know if I wasn't enjoying my time with a game if come Sunday morning I'm going, oh man, not this two days in a row. But, um, I think it's a, it'll be fun. It also helps that today is like a cloudy day, so I don't even feel like guilty about doing this. So we're going to go ahead and hop in to more Xeno Clash 2. Last time we left off, we had just defeated the East, East Golem. So we've now done the West Golem, we've done the East Golem. We've done the... I'm trying to figure out which one was the north and which one was the south. I'm pretty sure we did the north golem. So really, logically speaking, in order of like the actual bosses, we just have the south golem left. So let's hop to it. And we literally did just... So we went here, he was known for creating uh, ab abominations known as chimeras. Um, most of the chimeras I saw... Interestingly enough, um, almost all of the chimeras were two-headed baboons. The rest were, like... They called them mountain men, so I guess it could have been, like, experimented with humans and yaks. Yakmans, but it wasn't really clear if those were experiments too, or if the only ones that are officially the East Golem's experiments were the, the two-headed baboons, because I didn't see any other variations. I feel like it might have sold the idea that he was doing, you know, illegal chimera experimentation. Um, it, it, it might have been nice to see more varieties that he'd experimented with, because I can't imagine if he was a true man of science that he would have just done a baboon chimera and then decided, yeah, you know, this is my favorite. I don't need to try any others. Baboons are the best. Ugh. <sighs> So we've got a little bit of walking here. I think we have to go all the way back to Halstom so that we can try and ask around about what exactly happened to Father Mother. Since he's been taken from his hideout shelter over here. You know, I would really... I feel like if somebody comes in the middle of this um, session... <laughs> and they listen to me explain this story, they are going to be completely lost. I sound like an insane person describing where I'm at in this almost, almost incomprehensible story. Now, there is a point to everything. I think I understand what they were going for with this game, and that's and it's neat. Like, it's a really cool concept that they're trying to, like, tackle. It's not an easy topic at all. But... It's, it's wild. Like, I could literally just go to... Why am I... I don't even need to teleport to Halston. I can just walk through the door. 
In fact, it doesn't even let me teleport, probably because I'm going to get attacked. Like the whole world's going to want to kill me now. You don't care, though. You're chill with me. So are these bull people. The only ones that I think I've seen duplicates of in the city, right? Like, are these sort of an outcast race that are forced to live on, on the outer gate? That's a wanted poster for all of us. Who's that? Is that supposed to be me? Who is that? Who's that person? <laughs> they have wanted posters for us and then some random dude. I guess it's true. We can't be the only ones that are wanted in the entirety of uh, Xenozoic. Oh. Yeah, we're very... They really don't want us here. Hmm. I'm glad that I did... Uh... I'm glad that I did my, my side quests before triggering this. It might have been frustrating coming here and having everything, like, blocked off. We're very close to the end of the game here. I think we might see the end of it today. Um, interestingly, I also think that there are a couple of achievements that I had previously set to completing that will not be able to happen. Cross the line, you poor woodpeck. When you hurt the golem, we all get hurt. This ain't about jail anymore. You trying to kill us? We all got sick because of you. You're gonna you're gonna hold that against me? Oh my gosh, I still have the freaking baboon. Oh, that's not good. We gotta get the baboon out of our party. Okay, so I think if I do... How many people are coming for me? Ow. See one, one, whoa, one, one, two. Oh man, this staircase is so freaking annoying, dude. This game doesn't know how to do verticals at all. But there's an achievement that we wanted to get that involved getting a six hit combo. Who's got a gun? And that combo is like almost impossible to do. It's basically one of the most advanced combos that you learn in the tutorial, but then you also have to add an extra thing at the end. And as you all recall... Who do, what? Did I just, like, destroy my monkey buddy? I might have. He's done. Ow. One, two, three... Oh. One, two, one, two, one. Oh my gosh. I'll never get it. I, I don't know if I even want to bother anymore because it's just frick, it's impossible. It is impossible to get that combo down in a uh, actual fight. Like I think I pretty much need to isolate somebody. Um, and even then, uh, I, I worry that because I've boosted my strength value, I'm probably too overpowered for most of the weak enemies that I would want to try this on. That I'm just going to get my, my butt kicked. Or I should say I'm just going to like floor them before the combo gets through. As, as often happen with these guys. The timing of it's just really tricky. And then there was also another achievement that we wanted to get. Which involved having a, um, a teammate hold someone down while you... Um, continue to, to basically bludgeon them. And as it turns out, uh, it's literally not something you can do without co-op. <laughs> so unless I find some other human being playing this particular game from a decade ago, uh, I'm not going to be able to get the achievement. I despise co-op achievements for this reason. I, I wouldn't care as much if local co-op was a thing, but just about any PC game and just about any multiplayer game that comes out these days, unless it's a Nintendo game, doesn't usually offer local co-op anymore. It is um, one of the most despicable losses in video gaming culture, I think. Right, so this guy doesn't even have more banditos for me to kill. 
so I don't have to feel bad about that. We've already done the Butterfly Man. So the last the last stuff is really just seeing the story through and I don't know, maybe getting the combo one. But is there even a point? Like if I can't get the one that's directly above this. Like okay, we we still have to go raid the tunnel. Um Attack an enemy while your partner is grabbing him slash her. That's not going to be able to happen. And then the six hit combo is even harder than that. Like something that literally requires you to have somebody else help you in a game this old has a 4.6% completion rate. And then the combo, which you can do solo, is harder than that. Like harder than, than getting another human being to help you on this thing. Yeah, I don't know. I don't think I care enough. It's not, like, a plot-relevant or discovery thing, right? Like, I guess it means I technically have achieved mastery of this game's combo system. But, like, one, two, three, four, and then I have to kick, so it's... Let, let's actually, you know, let's shadow box for a bit. Maybe I can do it if I just practice the moveset on a shadow box uh, thing here. One, two, three, uppercut. Then, then how do I kick? Nope, none of that's kicking. There is a way to kick. I, I hope this dog doesn't get too close to me. I don't want to hurt the dog. I don't care if it's a bird dog. I'm not going to hurt the dog. All right, so. One, two, three, uppercut. Then, aha, uh -huh, and then... That, that would work. So if I'd have done... One, two, three, uppercut, kick, and then we do the thing. We almost don't even have enough stamina in our entire bar to be able to manage this. So... The hardest part is remembering that in order to get the kick to go through, so it's one, two, three, hold left, then I think it was press left again. One, two, three. So it's press right and back at the same time to get the kick to go through. My concern is that the kick is going to send them flying and then I'm not going to be able to connect another hit. There's also the fact that they can block hits and if any of those hits in the process of that combo get blocked, they don't think it's going to count. Oh, was this not Halstom? What? Oh, we entered through the family plaza, that's right. Oh, wow. Everyone's here. Oh, I should have saved them for this. One, two. Oh, you got a freaking shield. How am I going to deal with that, man? This is a lot. This is a lot. This is a lot. Who's got guns? Don't you dare. Yow. One. One, nope. One. Frick. One, two. Got him. They're getting surrounded by. One, two. One, two. One. This is so hard, man. Oh god, explosions! One, two, three, uppercut. That's not it. One, two, whoop, he's doing for the claps. Who is this guy? Kinori? I don't know, I don't remember you. Ow, okay, this is bad. Oh, this sucks. I'm gonna potentially die here because I'm just goofing around too much. Oh man, he has a good shield. Oh. 
shield busted. Okay. Uh, I don't like this guy. He's been shooting me. Okay, knock them down. Don't dare, man. Put that shit down. Is he dead? No. No, that's not a... Aw, I accidentally tapped two key. Come on, man. I tried. No, oh, Meathead! Meathead, how could you do this to me? All these weak punches of that one strong-ass knockout. It's all just, you know, softening them up. Getting them all, like, uh, dazed and confused and then going in for the hit. Sting like a butterfly. Fly like a bee. Shattered it. Let's see if maybe I can take out Tl Tlaboga over here. I kind of want the bird man because he's the. He has a lot of health. No! Oh, I didn't land it! Okay. Let's do this again. This guy's annoying. All right, Fat Face, do you want some? Because you did beat me last time. I don't. I don't appreciate you beating me up last time. Oh, you. Hmm. This. There's just too many guys, man. They interrupt my combo. Like that. That kick sends them flying. It's just unreasonable. Oh wow, that would have been sick if it had actually done a thing. One, two, three. He's dead. Oh no. One, two, three. Kick and oh, I'm out of energy. There's just too much to keep track of, man. Am I getting shot? Who's doing this? Back. Don't you dare. I don't like slopes. I don't like slopes. Frick. Partly why I don't like slopes. It makes too many things kind of physics at the mercy of physics. Kinori. God, everybody's health is so low now. They've all been like chunked down. Ow! Get off me, dude! One, two, three. Frick! I hate you! Get your shield out of here, you little punk. I just want to kill that. I, I need to make him priority one. If I have to do this again, he is dying first. Because this guy is such a punk. Get it now. Hmm. Oh, they just have, like, infinite weaponry, don't they? Oh, food. Well, I might be able to survive. I might be able to survive this, actually. One, two, three. Kick. No! God, he blocked. You're alive still? What? Okay. It's just you and me, pal, and you don't have enough health to make this happen. Mm. 
Where is Father Mother? Where did you take her? Having a slow red dwarf is a bad combination. No kidding, dude. Is she at the jail? Strangers broke into the place and took him away. Like you did. Only Father Mother wasn't very happy this time. Where did they go? Uh, south of the city. That's all I know. I had so many opportunities. And I didn't get any of them. I wonder if I could pull it off on a boss. I feel like that's the most likely place. Because a boss is the only thing I can think of that would have the fortitude to sort of like... Not just go flying when I do my roundhouse kick and then jab forward into them. Alright, so Father Mother's been abducted and taken outside the city. Neato. Super awesome. Glad that we get to do this. Fortunately, transitioning areas does get you... A little bit of healing. Who do you think kidnapped Father Mother and took him south? A lot of people hate Father Mother. It happens to anyone who is powerful. I recognize that they're trying to make things a little more difficult. I'm not sure I understand why companions have to have a uh, healing grace period, though. They treat it like they're summons, and I guess you can technically take out like these legions of enemies on your own, but there's no benefit to doing that, and dying heals them back up to full, which makes the process of not having them to begin with feel extremely trivial. Like, I guess they just want to... They wanted to make it so that if you aren't good enough to handle the next foes, that you'll be able to get through with your allies. But here's the thing. I have a health bar, too. If this was like a self-regeneration thing where I was guaranteed every fight I would have, like, the same stats, then, then it makes sense. The problem is I can enter a fight with half health and both my allies in healing mode, and then it's just like, yeah, there's not a whole lot of chance that I'm going to win that. Which is what happened there. I entered that fight without uh, having everything available. Imagine being named Father Mother. He's not just named Father Mother. He is a Father Mother. He is the Father Mother of several children. He made a name for himself as, like, the de facto parent of the village. Huh? How can you be father mother? He is, um, so, so these are kind of, <laughs> these are kind of a, um, some discoveries from the first game, but basically he is a hermaphroditic bird man who is simultaneously woman and man. However, is this? that's not case. He it's is decidedly male, as we discover in Xenoclash 1. people have a story which needs a conclusion. Averilo, Anpa's father, Teterha, Gastornis's mother, oh, no. Gila, Therium's mother, and Hermelin, Zitzi's father. Wasn't he someone else's father, too? What do you all want? I thought it was apparent. All these people have some animosity against the one who stole their newborns. And they are now ready to lynch him. And the golems, the shadows with them. Gifts, servants, they can use however they please. If I remember correctly, I gave you and Remot some gifts as well, no? Why are you doing this? Coxte was asking for something strange, expecting you to obey retroactive laws. My idea of how you achieve your potential is different. This, this is the test that reveals the one you have been avoiding. Without the test, your lives would be a long wait, unbearable for me to watch. Bah, I'm not here for this. I'm here to beat Father Mother to my heart's content. No! Sorry. Oh, part of the problem too is that I didn't, I, I never changed out my ally to be like a good one. But give me two seconds here. Uh, I unfortunately just got a phone call that I need to quickly message.
Okay. Alright. I'm trying to figure out which of these is sensible. Darn it. God, uh, so long as I'm getting charged down by the frickin' bear, this isn't gonna go very good for me. One, two, three. One, two. Frick you, man. Whatever. I wonder if I can, like, get out of this fight. Because there's... There's a few things that I ent I entered this arena unprepared. Darn it. I don't want this ally. Two-headed chimpanzee orangutans. No good. Well, at least I'm able to block. One, two... Oh, he hit... Ah. See, because he doesn't recoil at all. Two, three. Maybe if I do one. One. One, two. One, two, three. One. One, two. One, one, two. Ah, oh, I hate this person. Just get down, dude. Gila, get out. I'll take the food. Oh, wow. Their dads are hard. They have some very difficult dads to beat up. Finally have all these dudes with so much health that I can finally... I hit someone. That was worth it, I guess. I feel bad, like, the, the whole time I'm just gonna be counting. One. Two. Okay, he's down. Going for the bites. Oh boy. Get down. Oh, this is so weird. Finally. Jeez. Okay. So, what do we got? Shadow Elite with most of its health gone, most of its health gone. That kind of sucks. And then, and then you. Everything's been so softened up. One, two, three. Ah. Uh. One, two, three. Dead. Well, I won. I guess. You failed. What did you expect? That we would just watch? I'm not talking to you. No, don't fight them. I'll go to the jail. They could be your fathers. Don't fight them. This is monstrous. Please. No, no protests. You should have tried to stop it, but again, you were selfish. The whole test was made for you, but you failed. Get out of here! Yes, Father Mother's test is finished. A coward, after all. Your test, Remot, might be taking place right now. 
You can't ignore the difference between the father-mother in your mind and the one here. Do your feelings, does your loyalty change? Get out of here! And God's test. It has nothing to do with father-mother. You were done with all of this even before I came. Meet me at High City, and there you might meet your true test. All right. Did he draw himself a mustache? Yeah, he's had that since the, the first game. He has this weird drawn on, like mustache and sideburns thing going on. You want to know which one of those were your other parents, don't you? No, if I didn't ask you before, it sure won't make a difference now. Can't undo what's done. One of these could be your parents. So one of the parents had three children, and we were two of them. Zetsi was the third. We were all actually related. But we don't care, because we've been raised by father, mother, and that is the family we've known. Ooh. Now this gets interesting over here, doesn't it? Who's this, Zetsi? might be, or it might just be the dads from earlier. Tons of food. The game knew that that would be a hard fight. What? You curious or what? Ah. I, I am curious, man. <laughs> Very curious. What are we doing in the middle of Egypt? Floating blue pyramids everywhere. I'm glad I came over here. Hot dang. Alright, boosting stamina now. But yeah, as you can see, I went I went all in on strength, and in hindsight, that might have been a bad idea. Like, stamina and health might have been the better focus, because then I could have gotten my combos off for longer. And actually gotten this achievement more easily. I say more easily, but I don't know. <laughs> it's gonna consume me. The desire for the perfect six-string combo. It's like in those movies where they're like, Did he just do... That's right, he just did... The legendary... Quintuple, sixtuple, twipple. Oh my god. No one's ever done that. Some move that exists in the video game that literally no one can pull off. Not even the developers. Also, do, these do look like shrimp, but I think they are more of, like, a weirdly red... Maybe they're... they might be a shrimp flea crossbreed. But they're definitely giant fleas first. <laughs> they put it in for fun. Hehehehe. <laughs> <laughs> Man, they're gonna make me walk this entire way. I could have used a teleport here. At this point, I'm just going to go out on a limb and figure that the final boss fight, at least I think the next fight is the final boss fight, is the place where I'm gonna have to do this achievement. There are no... There's no middle ground. Like, that's the only way it's gonna happen. Fortunately, I think it's right here. There's the flappy wings. Go to High City. Do you think the people in High City live a better life than the people in the rest of Halstom? Is there actually a division on that level? Here. Before we do that, I'm gonna... 
just quickly replace this baboon with something that at least puts in some effort. The reason we had the baboon was because he, uh, he was necessary to open a door in one of the previous areas, and then I just kind of forgot to ever go back and replace him. Actually, before I go and, like, engage the final boss, we need to get into the ruins as well. I'd forgotten about those. So I'm thinking we're gonna try and just go around here. Find a shortcut to where I need to go. I think that kind of works. I'm thinking we're gonna we're gonna get word, and we're gonna do on a, we're gonna go on a hunt for this thing. Big bud. Yes. Thank you, word. The only character that to get to join your party, you need to have maximum leadership. He would follow no one who didn't have charisma coming out of their ass. So. I'm gonna double check the desert because I honestly, I think we have one more that we need to get, but maybe I found them all. It's possible. I don't think I'm going to play a game of uh, hide-and-seek with the runes, though. If uh, if the game decides that I still am missing one, I'm probably going to look it up to find out which one I might not have gotten. You know, honestly, I kind of want to get people's perspective on it. Is it... Do you consider it cheating when it's something like this, where it's like, alright, collect... 50 of a thing, and they're scattered throughout the world in these hidden locations. Can it even really be called cheating? To have something literally tell you... To, to have a guide basically say where each of those things is. Like, I know it sounds... It sounds like cheating, but on the other hand, what are you really achieving by collecting all 50 things if you don't? If you're doing the achievement, you're going to very specific places with a very deliberate purpose, and then you get all the things, and it's like you got the achievement, you did, you put in the work. If you just discover them, by chance, I'm actually missing two? No. No, I did find one of the missing pieces, but I still need one more. Okay. But if, if it's just like, alright, they're in locations around the world and there's no hints at all on how to find them then the only way to ever get the achievement is to have stumbled across them serendipitously just by sheer accident sheer accident is that an achievement worth getting you didn't really try if you actually found them that way you weren't trying to do anything, and if you were, then it was a miserable experience because you were just combing every square inch of pixel to find them. I don't know. They're some of the most achie annoying achievements to me. Because they don't... I don't feel like they're an achievement that ever feels good. At least in something like Breath of the Wild, where you have the Koroks everywhere, it's very clear that, like... It's never expected that you'll find them all. It's expected that you'll find some of them, and when you've collected enough of them, you can, you know, unlock some more inventory, and that has a practical application in the context of the game. That's fine. Um, but this, it's like eight pieces scattered throughout the world. Collect them all to open this door that is optional, sure. It is optional. I guess, there, I guess that's the thing. I'm going after an achievement. Achievements aren't something that you're expected to get. So, I have chosen my own fate of, of just being too curious about this door to be able to let it go. Let's see. Um, what, is, what is the door? 
Raider. Raider. Xeno Clash. How to earn. Okay, it blows a video showing all the locations. I don't want that. That's going to take forever. Like, video is not a good way of figuring it out. So, give, you get five months and give them to the LRS guy. Then there were two pigmen that you have to fight to get the, the one. I got it. On your way to the throne inside the hallway that was a round room with a blank stone tablet. Look down a bit. It's near a door. When entering the woods from the deep woods, go left. If you come from the other entrance, aim for the eastern corner of the woods. There is an area sealed by a blue barrier. Use the golem hand and enter that area. The cube is to the right of the skill totem. I got that one. And well, there is a house with a soul person inside it. The cube is to the right of that person sitting on the table. When you have trouble finding the house, just go right when coming from the desert. I got it. Halstam, enter the bar where you started the game. Go to the first floor. <gasps> I forgot about the bar! Okay, the bar is what I what I missed. There is a side quest, actually, in Halstam that I have not done. And I still can't teleport to Halstam. That's fantastic. I completely forgot that there are arranged fights at the bar. And I have to win five of them to get this last piece. So see, that's precisely what I'm talking about. I could have spent ages, ages combing every inch of the game world trying to find this object strewn on the floor somewhere. Just to find out that it was attached to a side quest. I don't think I would have found that fun. I pr I much prefer looking something like that up and then going and doing the thing, you know. The the reward mechanism is, okay, I got the side quest, I'm going to complete the side quest and do the thing. Um, getting the piece is the reward for doing the side quest, but it shouldn't be the reward for, oh, uh, you just searched high and low. Take me to Halstam? I think so. I haven't been to this bar since the very start of the game. That's part of the reason why I forgot about the side quest, because at the time, the guy's like, the fight, the fighters aren't ready yet. Which I think was a, a missed opportunity. Like, I get that maybe these are progressively harder fights and it really requires you to have, like, end game stats, but... By sending me off and not having a quest tracker, it relies heavily on the player just having good memory. That they would remember later on after they've gone through all of the rest of the game. Oh yeah, there was a thing at the bar that I have no reason to go to except for that quest. If a developer ever does watch this, by the way, I hope this doesn't come across as harsh criticism. This is meant to be a critique of, like, tons of games that do this in general. This is far from the only offender. I also do actually really like this game. Like, at this point, it's really just me nattering on about a... a an optional achievement, right? Like, the core game was fine. Is fine. Still is fine. Except maybe the six-hit combo. That's a bit ridiculous. <laughs> it's cool that I could do it, but it's freaking hard, man. Struggling to find the bar as well, because the layout of this area is just so chaotic. I think that's part of the reason why I just never went back. So there's this guy who we helped a long time ago. I apparently missed a butterfly over here, not that it matters anymore, because I've completed the objective for it. I think that was a smart plan with the other collectibles. You know, they they were actually smart with, like, the butterflies and the, uh, the bandits. The bandits, you had a hard cap of how many you had to kill, but there were more 
bandits than there were the amount you needed. And the same goes for the Maws. They're scattered around the world, collect as many as you need for the quests and the achievement, but collecting all of them is tedious and unnecessary. Um, okay, I, I need to like put my, my brain on overdrive to find this place. Where is the bar? Where is the bar? That leads to everything else. This leads to the pit. Is, is this corner? No, this corner is nothing. I know that the bar has to come from this direction because we approached, when we started the game, we approached from over here. So it's one of these two paths. Here it is. I just took the wrong one last time. Sick. Okay. So we need to talk to the bowl man. No one's in here. It's kind of creepy. All right, are we ready for the arranged fights? Finally, I have a fight for you. Let's go downstairs and let the game start. Let's go. Oh my. I'm gonna start just fighting them solo. Two, three, four, four. Oh wait, was it actually five of them? One. One, two. One, one. One, two, three. Get the th oh! It wouldn't. It didn't. It didn't do. I, I I had to push forward when I did it. Oh man! One, two, three. What the fuck? Why didn't uppercut? One, two. One, two. One, two. One, two, one, two three. Uppercut. Kick and miss. Okay. Sick. Get down. One, two. These guys don't hit hard, so this is a really good opportunity to do this. One, two. Lockers. I'm just gonna kill you. You don't have enough health to work, so you're just a liability here. There he goes. He's done. Low, low. Okay, here we go. One. One. One, two, three. Ah. Uh, it's just too. It's too unreliable. Period. What the? F what? Stop it, dude. You guys are annoying. Is he dead? Oh. Alright. You won. You get a prize too. Come and get it. It was a good fight. All right. Prize time. That's it. I prepare them. I find the best. But you defeated all my champions. You win. I don't have anything else for you. So even in the confines of like an arena fight, <laughs> I couldn't get it. I came very close, like tremendously close. I got the kickoff, there was a guy there that I could actually hit, and I didn't realize that to get the final move, the sixth combo, I do have to be pushing forward when I initiate it. So like the kick is a push back, 
and then I have to push forward and hit both buttons to, to actually get it to go through on the final swing. So that's great. <laughs> I was so freaking close, man. That would have been the perfect place. The absolute perfect place, and I just didn't realize the requirements of my move set. Anyway, let's check out the, the weird tomb chamber that we gotta go to. Maybe there's some opportunities for fighting here that'll be beneficial. Came back here so often. Clearly I was supposed to remember that bowl earlier too because that was a pretty like if I wasn't trying to go for the ultimate combos that was a very easy fight it's locking the like the whole time I'm just like okay I gotta get this combo dang it this guy's like has one eighth of his health left and I still didn't get the combo done right like my objective should be to kill these guys but it's not even not all of the little um pendants got taken out We already got the achievement. I technically don't even have to go in. I technically don't even have to go in. But let's see what's down here. Maybe there's some opportunities to, to grind out some enemies. Where the chimeras came from, no one really cared, not until the chimeras could speak. What was a man and what was an animal, their laws could never reconcile. When chimeras multiplied with complete disregard for their notions of separate species, they could tolerate no more. Oh, huh, that is an interesting looking base. Pretty sure I can make this happen with a little bit of... Ooh, that was interesting. <laughs> Alright, so... Did we come from... Ooh, we came from over here, and now there's a path that goes upward. That makes sense. Very dusty little tomb area. Just swung open now. Interesting. Also interesting, these little light flies that just go around. They selected a land which would hold all the chimeras, a place where the man animals could be forgotten. They called it by many names, but our fathers called it exile. Isolation, they chose a land of natural barriers. To the west, the largest ocean. To the east, impenetrable mountains. To the north, barren deserts. To the south, endless cold. 
But they needed more barriers, barriers they could command, so they created the golems. To the west, Samorote. To the east, Nahuatlte. To the north, Kaxte. To the south, Zotlte. Alright, so we're getting the full story. Wow, so it really is um, heavily influenced by the island of Dr. Moreau, then. Kind of. At least the principal idea is. Things to fight. Just you word? You just chilling? Are you gonna make me fight you? I don't want that. Oh, oh god, it's many words. Oh, ow, ow. Okay, first of all, I need words to fight with each other. Real quick here. Alright. One, two, three. Ow. Okay. One, two. One. Ah. One. Stop it. Gosh. One, two, three. This is a pain. <laughs> this is such a painful thing to try and make happen. Um, all right. I'll put it in stamina. One, two, three. Ugh! Just couldn't freaking connect it, could you, you dingus? fight? Where, where, where'd he go? One, two, three. Everyone, everyone's dead. Oh no. Words fighting word. Oh no. I'm stuck. Word, word one. That's good. Friends? Yeah, good job, word. Good job, buddy. Alright, so I guess we'll read this. They hit two... They, they were able to take too many hits to really be... Uh, to really work the way I need them to. Melee weapons damage increased. I don't really care about that. All we have are fragments. We don't know how long ago these events happened, what generation lost our ability to read and write. What strife did they face? Have there been 40 generations or 400? They created Xenozoic to forget about us. Did they know that we would also forget them? A little teleporty from the last tomb. Is there still another guy? It's weird that you're still here. Where did that healing bread stuff go? We had it for a bit. I guess it doesn't matter. We won the fight. We can teleport out of here. This was mostly here for lore dump purposes, and we got the reward that it would offer for it, which is the the melee damage increase, which would be cool if only I wasn't trying to get an achievement that requires me to basically just fight with my fists the whole time. Worst of all, I've gotten turned around now. 
So this is this way, then down, right? I think this way. Yep. The loud friend. Alright, back to outskirts, I guess. Wookie. It was a battle of the Wookiees for sure. <laughs> Alright. That barely healed me. Good thing that we have to go through a bunch of these little healing gates. I've got tons of stamina now, it's just a... It's just a matter of finding something that is both... easy enough to punch and keep in place while also having it not hit so... hit like a truck so that if I... I need it to be able to get recoiled. If an enemy just sits, like, won't just sit there and take punches, then I'm good. If he absorbs the punches and you're just like, yeah, I'm just going to stand around. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to do this thing. Then we're going to be in trouble. Pangolin, hello. Welcome back. We made it into the tomb to discover that Xenozoic is where the crossbreed hybrids um, were placed by the larger society. Like, this entire world is half man, half animals who are unable to overcome their um, their primal animal instincts, which makes it impossible for them to integrate into society. Funnily enough, that reveal is not part of any cutscenes or main plot progression of this game. It is revealed to you through an optional achievement. This is pretty. This has failed to give the right time for centuries, but I like how it has its own rhythm. How old is this game? You um, us here. You must explain your actions. Roughly 2010. Everything will become clear. You like playing games with people. So, is this a test for me? Or are you testing him? No, Coxtay's test is done already. 2013. I think he failed too. Test. Your test. It was tricky to find an appropriate test for you. You are driven by strong ideals of what's right and wrong, and adhere so strictly to our laws. I didn't know how to make you leave the script, but there was the solution. You follow our laws, even when they force you to do something you hate. Our laws were created by people wiser than you and me. It seems you forgot that. So how did I test you? I gave Cat and Remat the tools to put you in a tight spot. I gave them the proper directions and weapons to cross the north border, your border. Our laws force you to kill those who trespass the borders if necessary. It's what we were created for. But I know it's abhorrent to your ethical soul to kill for this reason. It was you who disabled my linking power. Yes, I needed to give Gat and Remat a fighting chance. If you could simply overpower them, then there would have been no test. By the time I gave you back your power, you no longer had the strength to stop Gat and Remat without doing something horrible. Threatening to let them die together with you. You criticize my moral compass, but yours is completely lost. When you had to choose between what you felt was right and our law, you chose the law. It doesn't matter how I feel. Why am I here? 
You will never be at ease while Coxte leads Xenozoic. You're right. Your laws, they're like a weight your makers put on your back. How can I trust those dead people we cannot know? Perhaps Xenozoic can become a better place with Coxte in it, but you feel otherwise. Get Coxte is your test, but you cannot really face your test while he is <laughs> your brother Coxte. the others. Your will is suspended, blocked by the unfair fear of hurting the others connected to You're the third golem, Kaxari? Allow me to get rid of that obstacle for you. Well, I guess you're the fifth golem. Get the link. Now the golem is still linked to you, but no one else is. What will you do? You're almost completely right, South Golem. I will fight the Golem. But I'm also here to fight you. Am I fighting both of them at the same time? Allies, come forth! The creatures of this world, they are no Ouch. behavior from them. are far worse. You should tell them later. So Ow. high and mighty. One, two, Don't three. You push the fate of others as well. Unlock your goals are the excuse you need. It makes all the difference. One, two, three. One. I, I'm not sure I'm going to be able to get this combo off on him. One, two, out. One, two, three. One, two, three. Ow. Uh, all right. One. This is really hard. Oof, sad. Yeah, he's just not gonna... He doesn't recoil at all, so I'm not gonna be able to do this. What was that? One. He has a lot of health, too. This is gonna be a hard fight, regardless if I'm doing it with combos or not. One, two, three. I think this is on a timer because if he hurts Golem too hard, it hurts me too. One, two, three. Here we go. One, two, three. Nope. None of that counted. There's the punch. Even you, Coxtay, even you had been sleeping too long. You had to come to Xenozoic and do something, anything. Not because you care about the Xenos, we know you don't. And to different borders, people are- Yes! Anyway, forever. I win. I win. Ah, uh, thank goodness there were random technology. things. No wonder the Watate and Samorote dried up on their bones. <laughs> that what is that oh you disabled my power okay secondary weapon sun and moon gauntlet okay now we it win it died Oof, it blows up I forgot I'm so glad the word is here to help out Oh, I feel so good that I got that achievement. There's really, like, nothing else that I have to do now but win. Where's that explosive? I think I could just keep using this to win. I'll let them figure it out. Uh oh. Oh, he heals me! He heals me! What a good boy.
definitely mad at me. Yes. I think I might have gotten the combo off on him while he was stunned here again. There's the uppercut. are big. Oh, sorry, sorry, word. Sorry, word. I'll try to punch this thing. Ouch. All right. Oh, I just realized. Can I, like, burn this? Come on, game. Figure it out. that does, but uh, hopefully it dies. Oh, I'll bet that this is stopping me from linking. Ow. Ow. Stop that. Oh, Jesus, what? I just hit my... I just hit word in the face. It's terrible. Poor guy. heels. Oh, sorry. Word is frickin' OP, man. He never dies. He's just hanging in there. knocked out a bit. <laughs> yes. There it goes. Conked him out. <laughs> well, I hope you liked your, he is flat, your flat brother is Kixari. <laughs> All right, how does this resolve now? Okay, so father, mother's uh, fine, I guess. All of the parents are, uh... oh yeah, he has his parents there in, in skulls. He's just caressing them.
Went through a lot of trouble to protect their little tribal family. Daedra's just hanging out over here with Hene. I don't know. I guess they have a little... They had a little thing they were doing. Where they were trying to set up a tribe. But we've killed the, the male figure in that. Because he was obsessed with... He was obsessed with the Tiante. And when we found out that he tricked everybody to go and just get a closer look at the Tiante home area, uh, we punished him with death. I'm pretty sure I actually flung him off the edge of a cliff in the actual fight. So he's dead, dead, dead. But it looks like that was Xeno Clash 2. It was interesting. I agree with some of the people's comments that it probably overstays its welcome a little. Like, there's enough content here for maybe half this game's length, and then after that there was a little bit of filler with, like, um, some of the quests. Xenoclash 3 when? Uh, November. There's gonna be a third one in November. Although I think it goes under a different name, right? Let me see what they, they actually call it. Clash. It's going to be called Clash Artifacts of Chaos in June. Hold on. When is this supposed to come out? November. Yeah. So Clash Our Artifacts of Chaos. Clash Artifacts of Chaos is coming out in November. Unfortunately, that's a less appealing name. I feel like Xeno Clash in 2022 would be a, a better selling name, but but I don't know. What is cool is that it is an extension of the same world. So the, the premise of the new one is, you are Pseudo, a fighter living in the strange land of Xenozoic. Everything changes for you when you take the boy into your care. Crush your enemies and explore a punk fantasy setting, never forgetting the sacred rule of the ritual. Mechanically, it, it sounds like it introduces some some new stuff where you have to like follow certain rules in combat based on a mini game that you play at the very start of it. So, it's kind of exciting just because everything that Ace makes is sort of bizarre like this. Like they had one that's uh, called the Great Cylinder, and I think that one is where you play. Little uh, a little group of puffballs, kind of like it's Pikmin. But you're constantly running away from a cylinder that's crushing your entire world as you progress through it. So it's got this, like, uh, existential fear going on that, that you would only really expect in something like, I don't know, Majora's Mask with the Moon thing, right? But okay. There's one more thing we can do here. Let's see if we can find anybody to co-op with so that they can just, like, hold somebody. The problem is, the tutorial taught me how to hold people, and I don't remember how. So if they want me to reciprocate, I might not be the best. We'll give this, like, I don't know, five minutes, just on a whim, but I'm pretty- yeah, no games found. No games found at all, no one's playing this. So, unfortunately... I don't think that the co-op achievement that I wanted to get is ever going to be something I can do. Locked forever, because no one's playing. Sad. Max out all the stats also didn't happen. I'm not sure, honestly, where I might have missed one of those, but... Because I thought I did pretty good. But this isn't one that I was really pursuing. I don't, I don't care about maxing out my stats. It's not relevant. Uh, so we've done it. And I would say that that is probably a good place to end the stream. Being that we've just won the video game. What did you guys think? What are your opinions on what we've just experienced? I'll give, I'll give you guys a little bit of a, a chat time here. Maybe some soothing, like... Let me see if I can... I'm just going to make this happen real quick. 
Do, do, do. Video game study lounge. Does this work? Could this work? When did I start? Sorry, Pango. You like the Sunday stream? I'd like to try and keep it for sure. Um, normally, I would probably run it longer than this. Um, I started about an hour and a half ago, so if the game hadn't ended, we probably would have gone until like 1 p.m. Eastern. Um, but. But the game ended. <laughs> we got through it um, faster than I anticipated, so. fun having such an early yeah it's not something that I can do very often and Saturdays Saturdays I generally am busy in the, the earlier part of the day so it's not as good for that I think the main question that I have is does Saturday night make sense like what do you guys feel about Saturday nights obviously it falls in line with my usual stream time but I feel like the turnouts are pretty low on Saturdays, usually. Like, weirdly, Thursday is always a day that goes really well. I guess people... I'm the thing that happens on Thursday. Wednesday... Twice nice, but it's true, I'm more likely to go out Saturday night. I think it's music is getting loud. I can turn it down. Um, yeah, I feel like this is a good time to discuss because I am I'm currently basically in an engineering phase of like, okay, what can I do, and what works best for everybody when it comes to like the streams and, and when and where they happen. Um, We're striking out Wednesday. Wednesdays don't work for me anymore. Thursdays still do. Saturdays still work, but I do have a habit of going out on Saturdays, just like you, Pangolin. So, like, I think most people just don't have Saturday nights as free as, as one would expect. I gotta think about it. Unfortunately, I think Sunday morning is the only time in the week when I can feasibly do a morning stream, so this is the only day that you're going to get this, unfortunately. But I think... You like this. Yeah, I, I like it too. This felt good. This felt like a good time, good length. I'm gonna try and keep the Sunday one in the morning going. Then Saturday nights might get next. Wednesdays get. Um, Wednesdays are are getting next. So we'll have Thursday, Sunday, and then I need one more, one more day that makes sense. Maybe Monday. I don't know. Does does Monday make sense? Sunday, Monday, Thursday. That's a very front-stacked uh, thing. But honestly, wasn't that what I used to do? I think way back in the day when I was on third shift, I think I was doing like Sunday, Monday, Thursday. Something really weird like that. I can maybe get Friday to work. Monday's okay for you. Tuesdays and Wednesdays. Tuesdays, Wednesdays, and Saturdays make the least sense. The rest we can play with. Alright. Well, I think that's what we're gonna do. For now, um, I'm gonna go ahead and let you guys go. Thank you everybody who came out and watched. You're all very cool people. Chilling around, watching. Sorry that this one ended kind of early, um, but normally this one's gonna go a little longer than this.
Okay, um, so let's send it over to somebody. We've got, see, this is the fun part. I'm gonna have people that I can actually raid. Let me get a sense of who these people are. It makes sense, yeah. So we're gonna feel it out. Um, I'm still going to call it a flex schedule going into this next week. You can expect to stream on Thursday pretty reliably. I'm going to try and make this coming Sunday work. I might stream on Monday or I might stream on Friday. I will try to call out on those given days if that's happening. Uh, I, I won't know for sure until I have a better sense of how I feel after work tomorrow. But let's go ahead and give a raid to Various Ominous Origin. Wait, sorry. <laughs> Various Ominous Drones. He's playing Silent Hill Origins. Um, so guys, let's give it here. This is a bit of a mouthful to type. Yeah, I, I don't think I did that right. Various Ominous... I did it again! I called a freaking... <laughs> Various ominous origins. All right, various ominous drones. Let's go. Guys, thank you so much for watching. I'll send you over to Various. He's part of the stream team. The, uh, uh, so it's, he's, he's someone we definitely want to like. <laughs> um, don't forget, this is me, my podcast I'm a part of with Kyo and Ken. Here is my YouTube channel. The new video hasn't been posted yet, but the Delta Rune still is the most recent. Um, here is my Discord, uh, if you're not a part of the community yet. Here is my Twitter, if you want to see my um, little announcements and blurbs that are not related to my stream schedule. It's very rare that I do those because I'm bad at social media, but hey, follow it if you want. And most importantly, um, there's another one here. Is it this? Yeah, here's my gameplay channel. If you happen to miss a stream, such as Saturdays or any of them, uh, I am trying to keep my archives posted to that channel. So go ahead and subscribe there, and you'll be updated when I've posted the next archive video if you ever want to be a participant in a stream that you might have missed. It's a good way of catching up. Anyway, thanks again, and I will see you guys s either Monday or at the latest Thursday. Until then, see you later.